Okay, in this session, we shall do the, the, the units filtering. Remember, in our other form, we were ticking or checking the units. Like, for example, I want this student, Maxwell, to be taking unit 2 and unit 5 and unit 7. So, uh, whenever I go to one node and select unit 7, I will get two students out of three. Remember, I have three students. We can also change this one to be in, to be in one uh, in one node, so that uh, we can make sure that um, uh, we we have one, two, three, four. But we work on unit seven. Unit seven only three are uh, taking unit seven, and only three here only actually one, two taking unit one. So. Uh, what you do, you just go to the button. Like, for example, I go to unit 2. This button, I then go to event procedure of on click here. Just the one you are using. And wherever the cursor is here, at the start, you paste the following code. Uh, that is me.filter equals to the unit. The unit here is unit 2. Yes. Me.filter me on equals to true. So this is the whatever you copy. This is the code. You can pause the video to write it down. Then we go to the next unit. This is unit um, unit uh, three. Unit three. You do the same. You just change this one to unit three. This is unit three. That is the code to filter. Then we go back. This is unit four. You paste the code there. This is the code. You change this two to four. Uh, that is the code that is uh, making sure that only student taking that unit are considered whenever you click that button. This is unit 5. This is 5. Again, I go to unit 6, paste. This is unit 6. This is unit 6. Then, again, this is unit 7. And we are done for that case, unit 7. So I save. So, uh, the next thing is to uh, go to this point and then run it yeah, save then run cross or so i go to my filter form i want to go to a node uh, so i go to form one node remember we are working on unit seven and unit one only three should be displayed so these are my students whenever i click on unit seven you see now it has filtered it has only displayed three because three are the ones taking unit 7. You see now when I go to unit 1, only 2 taking unit 1. And when you go to the subject filter, one node, you get that unit 2 is only taken by, that is unit what? Unit, uh, we are in unit what? Unit 2. Unit 2, we are in unit 1, sorry. Unit 1 should be taken by only 2. You see this one is 1 south. It's actually very true. If I, I add them, all of them, like that, then cross this or, when I go back to filter to form one node, all of them, all of them will be displayed as taking unit one. You see all of them, whenever I click on unit one, all of them, all of them, uh, four of them uh, are taking the unit. But when I go to something like unit seven, you see it's working. It's just filtering uh, whatever I want. So the next thing here is to create, uh, is to create a mark sheet. So to create the mark sheet, uh, you follow the same method here. So you just uh, display whatever uh, you want uh, displayed. Like for example, I can just go to create. Then I just go to report design here. This is my report design. I just want to create it. Then I can copy the, the master query here. Copy. Then paste. I just call it report card report card so on the report card here that is the one that i use here so i just go to this point uh, or record source i choose report card then i save this one as report card uh, report card that is the report card then the next thing is just now to display remember what we did on this one uh, whereby we took our d lookup so i can just come here and copy this copy this copy then go back to my report card here. Uh, I display a text box up here. Remove the label like that. Then paste your stuff here. Paste. 
like that then you can just do your formatting as you wish uh, as you wish board so this is will display my school whenever i run that one will display my school then the next thing is to go to back to design or click here then go to add existing fields so here i want to add the the add the admission number of the student that is the admission number of the student here admission number admission number will be displayed here the admission number it will be displayed there then the name the student name will be displayed the student name admission number student name the class that is the exam class and the exam stream so the class remember you do use the the, the the exams the exam and stream the class and the stream it will be displayed there then the year the exam year and also the semester the exam year and the semester the exam semester the exam semester will be displayed there like that then these ones you can just make them red and bold like that this is the student admission number and the name so the next thing to do here is the uh, the units the units the student is taking the exam units so the exam unit up to this point here it will be displayed so you can uh, no 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 undo i want them displayed somewhere there like that and this one should be there then this one should be left around should be black then the marks here should be black like that then we shall have the total here copy this you can just do it here in the notepad we shall have this one plus plus unit two plus unit three Unit three plus unit four plus unit five plus unit six plus unit seven like that. So this is what we have. Copy this. You want to get the total marks. The total marks here equals to that one and then I save this the next thing I want to remove the the, the border so mm -hmm. back style here we should have transparent border style transparent so that we don't have the borders then the next thing after doing that after having done that one uh, we can make sure that uh -huh, the you can just go back to first of all close this one close this one now once you cross that one we go back to exams design view here so this one's we put default value as zero. No, this is the the this one default value zero. This one default value zero. This one default value zero. 
is one default value zero. Default value zero. Default value zero. Again for unit seven, default value zero. And also this one, default value zero. Then can save that one. Now the next thing is to include uh, is to include the filter form so that it can produce report forms of a certain class. So what I need to do is to copy this filter. Remember the way we created that one, there is no need of repeating. So we copy this one as report form. I just call it report like that. So we have the report. Then uh, this one, the next thing here is to change we go back to report card this 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 is the uh, the the, the raw source so i go to design view we change this filter this filter with the report with the report like that we change again this filter with the report like that close this one we change the filter in the report we change this one in the report like that so that it leads report it leads this that's what I, I am supposed to do you see now I am, I am saving on time avoiding too much reputation then uh, the next thing is to make sure that um, whenever I click this one this one now will be called uh, not to enter marks but report card view report card like that tdb view report card view report card for that matter good i'm just giving it a different uh, view so uh, the next thing is to make sure that whenever i click on this button Whenever I click on this button, this one, uh, it produces the report card. That is, uh, it produce the, the report card. So I go to property sheet event on click procedure. So on click here, it will be, uh, do, we shall change this. It will be dot open report, open report. Then the report name. The report name is report card. Report card. To be a view report preview. Let's work with that one. Then I just uh, cross this one. Let's try to see. So when I come to this point 2024, uh, form one, node, semester one, view report card. You see, it will now produce report card for a node, this ones, but there are no marks. You have not fed marks, so you cannot see the marks. It, it, it will produce the report card. So <clears throat> you see now it's working well. That's how now you, you, you can be in a position to uh, come up with a complete system that is uh, using Visual Basic for application. Remember, you can request for this copy so that you can have the codes uh, as you, you, you wish, so that you can really copy paste or just try to look at how the, the, the codes are written. Thank you very much for watching and also remember to subscribe, remember to share and also remember to come back and see what I have uh, done uh, in our next session.